For me, stories, narratives, are such a fundamental aspect of what it means to be human that understanding why we tell stories, how we tell stories, and what it actually does to us, both psychologically and physically, is really fundamental to understanding what it means to be human. The human thirst for storytelling has remained ever-present throughout the ages. But do we respond differently to different forms of storytelling? We often think of reading as being the most authentic way to absorb a story. But actually, writing is less than 6,000 years old, whilst the tradition of oral storytelling goes back much further. Does this mean that we engage differently with listening and reading? The emotional changes we feel as we engage with the story can be measured in our physiology. Things like our heart rate and body temperature. Studies which track these physiological indicators have found that an individual's particular response to a text is similar whether they've listened to it or read it. However, interestingly, these responses will vary from one person to another. So individuals respond to narratives very differently because they depend on how it relates to your personal history, right? What, what are the experiences that you've had in your life that make you feel a certain empathy with the kind of characters going through? So that's reading and listening. But what about watching? Joseph ran an experiment in cinemas in which he measured the reactions of audiences watching Aladdin. Again, he saw that audience members' physiology changed in response to the story. But this time, the changes were the same across the viewers. The audience members were emotionally in sync with each other. When you're watching a video, the audience members' heart rates start to synchronize, particularly during these really engaging emotional scenes. So that is literally people's hearts start to beat together. And that's true for video, but it's not true for audio because the experience is more similar with the video. We're all watching exactly the same stimulus. We're all hearing the same soundtrack at the same time. One different study did MRI scans on viewers watching The Good, The Bad and The Ugly and found that as much as 70% of their cerebral cortexes were synchronized at any given time. Joseph ran another experiment to dig a bit deeper into the way audiences process audible and visual information. So we had participants come into the lab and they would be fitted with a biometric measuring device that measures your heart rate. Participants engaged with individual scenes from stories, once in film form and once as an audiobook. There were stories like Game of Thrones, Girl on a Train, Great Expectations, what was really interesting was consciously people preferred the videos. They said that they paid more attention, they could empathize with the characters more, they felt like they were more present in the scenes. But when you look at their physiology, you could see that their heart rates were actually higher by two beats a minute, which is a lot, when they were listening to the audiobooks relative to watching the videos. That is a very strong emotional response. We anticipated that we'd be able to see a difference in terms of the physiology. We never expected it would be as clear as this, to be totally honest. People are more co-creating the material when they're listening to it. That is, they're much more imaginative. Like, they have to create these scenes in their head, they have to imagine the dialogue, they have to put themselves in this scenario. Whereas, when they're watching a video, they can be a little bit more passive about it because the director and the producer have already created this visual experience and put it out there for them. So you can just sort of take it in as opposed to generating it yourself. And that act of imagination is what causes a larger emotional response. Want to know how you respond to different forms of storytelling? There's a simple experiment you can do at home. Next time you're reading a book, watching a film, or listening to a story, grab your Fitbit or whatever you use to measure heart rate. After 15 minutes of watching, reading or listening, have a look at your heart rate and see how it's changed. You'll be amazed. It's like you're exercising from the comfort of your sofa. Well, almost. <laughs>